Hello there Capricorn. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be your general reading for April 16th to the 30th. If you're new here, I'm Melissa and I do Zodiac readings uh, the first and then about the middle of the month for the second half of the month. Uh, I also do every Monday a post um, on a metaphysical topic. So the link uh, to the playlist will be in the direct description box below. So let's get started. I have a couple more shuffles to do and I'm going to go ahead and mention this is a general reading so I will be connecting to energies from all over the place. So if something doesn't resonate for you then that message is meant for somebody else. So please take what resonates for you and leave the rest for them. I have one more shuffle that I'd like to do for Capricorn. Okay. The bottom of the deck is going to um, kind of be the overall energy that is going to be for the reading since it's a general reading and I don't have a question to work off. We're going off of the bottom of the deck. And ooh, it's the star. I hadn't looked at it until I showed it to you. The star. All right, Capricorn. So um, something's going to be eliminated for you. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn. We're going to jump right in there. Capricorn. End of April. The King of Swords. Okay, so is there someone that is kind of direct in their communication with you right now? Um, I, I feel like maybe there, there's somebody either, I think this person is already in your life. Um, that's kind of the feeling I'm getting. And maybe his direct communication is what is going to be kind of illuminating you right now. So let's see if we can get some more details for Capricorn. Five of swords, some more swords. Okay, so there's some discord going on here. There's something, um, some kind of battle. He's kind of battle-worn. There's blood on the swords in his hands. Um, I feel like the guy behind him is trying to, trying to um, not really make an announcement, but um, draw his attention away from his discord so i feel like maybe there maybe that's this other sword that came out already um that's trying to draw you away from something um negative that you're thinking something that's going on with you uh mentally or maybe even trying to redirect some learning for you uh i feel like maybe um maybe you've kind of maybe you stopped school if you're in school are you in school um and they're wanting to kind of direct you back in that direction. So um, also would go along with the star card for some illumination. Let's see what else do we have here? The page of cauldrons. Normally I shuffle between cards, but I really didn't think that was necessary for some reason. Um, the page of cauldrons. So um, some kind of like a young love is that what maybe is directing you away from your learning. Hmm. So let's see, let's see who this page is. Okay. So I, I don't feel like it's necessarily a good um, drawing you away emotionally. I don't feel like this page is a good person. I feel like this page is making you um, kind of anxious and maybe even a little bit sad. Some some heartbreak there. So lots of swords, lots of mental activity going on with you for the end of April, Capricorn. Um, yeah, lots of swords. And you know, and these two ended up next to each other. So I kind of feel like there's, there's some bad juju going on in your mental space right now. I think this is a helper though. I think there's somebody in your life, um, may not be male, could be female, but kind of a strong communicator. Somebody who's very direct with you and just kind of lays it all out there. And, you know, like, I don't feel like this person is a good person. I, or maybe this person has hurt you and it's caused this um, kind of mental anguish. Anguish is the word I'm getting. Like, you're feeling very um, kind of withdrawn. And I feel like there's there's a person in your life that's got some strong communication that's really trying to be like, hey, 
you know, refocus like this, this, this heartbreak and this, this kid, like this is a kid that, and in a, a lot of times I like, I see this as kind of like a, a new love, young love, exciting kind of, but with these other cards out here, I feel like this is, um, this person is, there's a, a young kind of maybe a love interest, somebody that you're emotionally tied to that's kind of bringing you down and has you worried and kind of fearful and defensive and you're you're just in a weird mental space because of this person but there is a helper here so um i don't know if you've ever heard or seen the um mr rogers quote what's his name um the like whenever there's a tragedy look for the helpers and i feel like that's what i'm being drawn to in your spread um there there's a helper here and it may be somebody that you don't really connect to emotionally very well but they're they're very direct in when they communicate um kind of a strong almost like a masculine energy but it doesn't need to be a male it could be a female that's kind of trying to like knock some sense into you basically uh what else do we have for capricorn what what else do we have for capricorn Ooh, we lost a card a couple of cards fell out okay this one fell out first ten of cauldrons reversed okay so Ten of Cauldrons is the happy family card, the the um, light at the end of the tunnel, the um, heightened emotional, but it's reversed. So I feel like um, you're you're definitely that that mental anguish and heartbreak that you're feeling is definitely represented in this card. So that's just kind of like confirming everything else that's come out. Your your mental anguish is affecting your emotional state. It's making you sad. You're you're feeling sad because of some. You know, something's got you mentally like um, I, I'm just feeling like a knot, like like your like if your brain was a string, it, it's all tangled up. Like your 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 brain is tangled. Um, I'm just getting this this mental image of you know knots in your head, um, but I it's it's pulling your heart, it's pulling your emotions aside as well. So it's starting with the mind, and somebody's like kind of screwing with your mind, um, but they're like the being being mentally screwed with is is kind of is bringing your heart into it as well because you're feeling like why would they do this to me don't they care um and i feel like that's kind of the direction that that the end of april is going is you're 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 feeling sad because of the mental so it's kind of shifting you know the 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 negativity is shifting from your mind to your heart um, and like, that's just bad. That's just really bad. But the other card that fell out was karma. Um, karma is kind of like the circle of life, um, beginning and ending. So I feel like what is starting right now will come to an end rather quickly. I feel like this, um, I, I, I'm really feeling like by the end of April, you're going to start to feel a little bit better. Um, obviously, this is going to take some time. Whatever it is that you're going through is going to take some time to heal. But um, you do heal. You do heal. And um, what you put into the situation is what you're going to get out of the situation. Um, yeah, this is... Um, this is a good card. It, it depends on the rest of the cards, but I feel like this is a good card for you in this spread for the end of April. I feel like um, you're you're coming full circle is what I'm hearing. You're coming full circle. So whatever it is you're going through is going to heal. Um, let's get some advice for Capricorn. Advice for Capricorn, April 2019. The high priestess all right all right so um the energy i get from this card for advice is to go out into nature um if you have a pet spend some time with your pet get outdoors um depending on where you're at the weather could be pretty nice it is here in arizona um the weather's really nice go outside go for a hike go sit in the grass have a picnic um do something in nature something that kind of celebrates you Something that celebrates you. Um, the High Priestess is um, intuitive. So uh, get in touch with your emotions. Your, not your emotions necessarily, but your gut feelings. So it's not really an emotion quality. It's uh, 
trusting and getting in touch with your your physical body will give you hints as to what you should be doing so i i feel like um if you get into nature it will also help develop that intuition um and help you trust that intuition but yes uh get into nature that is some advice that the cards have for you let's see do we have any other actions capricorn should take for their highest good Queen of Cauldrons. All right. So get those emotions in check. Be soft with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Be kind. Um, maybe even, like, I feel like from an advice standpoint, this should be you. It, it's telling me to embody the queen. I don't feel like this represents another person. I feel like this is supposed to be you and what you need to kind of embody uh, going forward in order to help heal from this situation. So, um, yes, um, look into your heart, uh, which I think I mentioned already with the, uh, high priestess possibly, uh, look, look into your heart space, um, get full, um, emotionally, find some way to, um, do something that makes you feel good about yourself because whoever this jerk is that's kind of messing with your mind and messing with your heart, um, I feel like, uh, they're, yeah, like, I feel like you, they're making you feel like shit, and you need to do something that makes you feel good about you, so, um, something that's, that's kind of being brought up with me right now is that there are no, um, there are no fire energy cards out here, there are no wands or rods, um, so I feel like, uh, you're missing, that element in your life to get that balance back in so i feel like it's something um that motivates you something creative i feel like um maybe getting out into nature maybe even i'm really strongly feeling right now go for a hike and collect materials and make something out of them I feel like that will help you immensely in your healing um from whatever this situation is um, I, I just feel like that would be a really good project. It'll bring out that, um, that kind of solar plexus chakra, get that spinning and using, using your creative juices and getting those flowing will help. Um, it kind of goes up from the solar plexus into your heart space and it will help with that. Um, keeping that mental stuff in check. It's, it's just like, I feel it spreading from mental to heart. And it's going to get into your core. So you, you, you want to stop that as soon as possible. Um, definitely getting some grounding done, sitting in nature, doing something creative is what I feel you should be doing in order to get to this place where um, you know your heart, you know how you're feeling, and you know how to keep it in check. Um, so you are really really checking in with yourself and um maybe a meditation um in nature would also help um that is really really good way to ground yourself <clears throat> um and to spend some time with pets <clears throat> sorry uh i i feel like the, those are the best tips that i'm getting from the cards for you um there there is something going on uh, but you, you are going to get out of it. I promise you that. Um, so stick it out, understand that what this person is really kind of, um, projecting onto you is nothing to do with you. That's them. That's their problem. Uh, right now, um, the last few months, one of my main mantras has been what other people think of me is none of my business. Because honestly, how people act toward other people says more about them than it does the person they're acting out on. So um, this person needs to work on themselves and don't take what they're doing personally. Because you, you can gather yourself back together after this. This is not the end of it for you. Um, there is so much more that you can be doing with yourself. So um, definitely recommend getting some nature time cuddling with your pets, getting some of those little snuggles in, and um, and doing something creative. So I hope that 
you do well with this, please take this advice because I feel like it will help you so much. Um, and I, I hope you, I hope you, I wish you the best with your journey. Please check back um, in two weeks. We'll do our May reading and see where things are at then. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to check the link in the description for Metaphysical Monday posts. Uh, there's some smudging which might come in handy for you as well, Capricorn, to get some of this person's bad energy out of your life, off of your body, out of your aura, and um, kind of cleanse yourself of this asshole. So please um, check those out. I feel like they would be helpful for you. And um, thank you again for watching. And as always, have a blessed day.